Uh, good morning, everyone, and welcome to the 21st meeting in 2017 of the Standards, Procedures and Public Appointments Committee. Um, agenda item one today is a declaration of interest. Um, our first item of business is to invite our new member, Claire Baker, and welcome to the committee uh, to declare any interests. Um, thank you, convener. Um, I don't have any registered interests that are of relevance to the committee. Thank you. Uh, Claire Baker joins the committee in place of Daniel Johnson. Um, agenda item two um, is for the committee to agree to take item four in private. This is an item for the committee to consider a draft call for evidence and further briefing regarding its inquiry into sexual harassment and inappropriate conduct. Do the members agree to take this item in private? Mm -hmm. Thank you. So we move on to agenda item three, and it's for the committee to consider an annual update on cross-party groups compliance with the Code of Conduct. There are currently 94 cross-party groups, and members will see from the report that compliance with the Code is very high. Um, and I'd like to invite members to make comments about the report, if you have any. Uh, Alexander. Convener, thank you. I think, you know, 94 is a tremendous amount of cross-party groups and that just shows the engagement that we're having with uh, organisations, individuals. Uh, I note from the report that there are a number of them who are making slight infringements, but nothing too dramatic. Uh, so I think that in, in reality, I think they should be commended for what they're achieving uh, and the ones who are needing to be assisted or uh, given a little bit more support and advise about what they should be doing and shouldn't be doing, uh, I think we, we have the opportunity to then do that. Uh, but I do believe that this is a, a, a very good uh, story and, I, and I'm, I'm delighted to see that the, the, the majority of them are all complying uh, and fulfilling the role and engaging uh, with communities, individuals and organisations because that's so vitally important uh, when we have a, a CPG organisation like we have in this parliament. Thank you. Hey, Patrick? Thanks. Uh, I'd agree that there's, there's nothing serious that requires action. I think, though, that on a number of occasions the committee has uh, looked at the question of the, the, the amount of external membership that some CPGs have had. There's not a hard and fast rule about it, but we've been encouraging uh, cross-party groups to uh, uh, you know, cast the net reasonably wide. Uh, I'd suggest that for those that still have a very low level of external membership, we might just write to them and ask whether that's something they're looking to address and, and what actions they've taken. Mm -hmm. Um, thank you, convener. Um, while I appreciate the annual report is public because it's part of the papers for this um, meeting, I don't know if it would be helpful to maybe share the report with the cross-party groups themselves. If they can maybe see the comparisons in the areas mm -hmm. where they're not performing as well as others, mm -hmm. it might make it clear that maybe they could take action to address that. It might also be, having looked at some of the groups, I uh, do know some of the groups have more members attend than what they're actually registering down as external. Um, so I think that might be helpful to highlight that point to them, that they could maybe uh, be more accurate sometimes and encourage people who come along to those meetings to become formal members. Sure. Um, OK, thank you very much for that. Uh, so uh, could the committee then agree to write, as Patrick suggests, to the conveners um, about their uh, external membership and encouraging certain groups to um, increase that? Um, and also to share the report with conveners of cross-party groups mm -hmm. and to highlight where, where, where there, there are areas of, of better practice. Um, yeah, OK, thank you very much. That ends the public part of the meeting and we'll now, as agreed, move into private session.